Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chippermist here and today I'm going to be showing you how you can install Android on your Mac. Now you can emulate Android uh, operating system and run apps on that right on your Mac or PC. Now this uh, tutorial works both for the Mac and the PC itself. Just a, a difference because uh, most of the things work on Mac as in uh, Java file while on PC it works as an executable file. So all you need to do is go ahead in the description link below and uh, go ahead and download the Google official SDK for Android. And uh, then you'll find uh, a downloadable folder called uh, Android SDK. Now I have downloaded the Mac OS thing, so uh, it's right here. Now you might not find uh, some other folders in that because I've already created a virtual machine for uh, the Mac as an Android virtual machine, but uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. So first of all, you have to go into tools and once you are in that, go ahead and open the Android thing. So that would open up the terminal thing and it would go ahead and open up a Java application. Now, as you can see, uh, it would load up uh, and fetching most of the add-ons list and everything that is downloadable from the Android SDK uh, online. So as you can see, we have all of the Android uh, images right here. I have already downloaded the Android 4.0.3. As you can see, it is already installed. You can also go ahead and download 4.0, 3.2, 3.1, and all the way below to 1.5, that is the API 3. And you can also go ahead and download some of the extras. So uh, that is pretty much about uh, the Android SDK manager. And all you need to do is go ahead and click on one, like uh, I can go ahead and select this one and I can go ahead and delete this. Uh, now, if I'm going to download Android 4.0, I can go ahead and click on install five packages. It would ask me if I want to install, and all I need to do is go ahead and click on install. Now, I've already installed this, so I will not be doing that again and again, but it would uh, take uh, about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your internet connection. My internet connection is kind of medium, so it took me around uh, 15 to 20 minutes, so it might take less or more, depending on the speed of your connection. And we'll go ahead and download all the SDK files and uh, that is pretty much done. So all you need to do after that is go ahead into tools and uh, click on manage AVDs, that is the Android virtual disks. And once you have uh, uh, done that, you can also go ahead and click on new and create a new Android virtual device. And I can name it anything I want, uh, like Android underscore one and uh, click on target and you can select the Android 4.0.3 or the Android uh, Google APIs. I'm going to be selecting Android 4.0.3 that I just downloaded and you can go ahead and click on an SD card or a file and uh, well uh, these all the other options are uh, kind of uh, optional so that is pretty much uh, about on you that uh, if you want to do that or not. So once you have created the Android virtual device manager all you need to do is go ahead and click on that and you can click on start. And uh, this will give you some of the launch options. Like I have the resolution, I can scale the display size to a real size, wipe the user data and all that stuff. So I can go ahead and click on launch and would start the emulator for Android. As you can see, there are some of the Android things on my dock itself. And this is the emulator itself. It would go ahead and start up with uh, some of the QR keypad and most of the Android buttons that are found on actual Android devices, which are the physical keys. So uh, this is a really simple thing, and on the left side of the uh, in, like, and on the left side of the window itself, it would go ahead and start up the, the Android operating system. And uh, once it's done, you will see a uh, fully operable Android operating system. Now you cannot go ahead and go uh, use Google Play or Android Market or anything like that, but uh, you can obviously go ahead and manually add uh, files for applications and such. You can use applications, try out applications, and if you are an Android developer, you can go ahead and uh, test out the application that you are using. And if you are an Android developer, you probably know how to use this. So nothing for me to tell. So well, uh, I'm gonna wait until the Android uh, machine starts up. And as you can see, I have uh, the Android uh, device started up and all loaded. So I can go ahead and click on the home button right here. And uh, as you can see, I have the full Android. I can go ahead and swipe to camera. Now the camera won't work because obviously there is no camera attached. It's not a real device. But uh, well, uh, I can go ahead and click on unlock, slide it to unlock and it would work fine. Now this does uh, work a little slow compared to an actual device because obviously that is running on an operating system. But uh, as you can see, this feels actually really nice. You can go ahead and use everything. You can actually swipe 
uh, right and left to go to the widgets and apps you can also click on uh, above and uh, it would swipe you right directly to the apps itself and you can go ahead and click on the home button right here and go to the uh, home menu so uh, this is pretty simple you can go ahead and swipe to for more things you can go ahead and tap on that and use live wallpapers picture wall and different wallpapers if you want to so this is really simple and easy to use uh, Android uh, emulator this is official available for uh, from Google itself so you can go ahead and download that I'll have all the links in the description below and if you like this video be sure to hit the like button below that really helps me out a lot if you have any queries or questions or any problems that you face while doing this be sure to leave in the comment section below without hesitation and I'll be sure to answer that up so thanks for watching guys and if you like my videos go ahead and subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe link above this video or clicking on the annotation on the video right now and again thanks for watching guys and uh, until next time i'll see you in the next one peace